And speaking of parades, the Greensboro Holiday Parade is almost here. It's happening downtown on Saturday, and it will feature a variety of sights to see, including Macy-style balloons that could give the Thanksgiving Parade a run for its money. To tell us all about it now, I'd like to welcome Zach Matheny. He's joining us live. He's the president of Downtown Greensboro Incorporated. Zach, great to have you again. Hi. Oh, hi. Thank you for having us. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. So, Zach, tell me what it feels like, first and foremost, to bring back this big holiday parade this year. Well, there's no question. This is the, the greatest time of the year. It's fun. It's festive. And, you know, you see so many smiles on so many different faces. Um, it's been fun to plan, and we can't wait to showcase it this weekend. Speaking of planning, I mean, talk to me about the preparations to get these large balloons and everything that goes into these floats here to Greensboro. You know, we ship these in. We're the only place outside of, of course, New York that has balloons the size that we have. We've got balloons that reach up between 25 feet to 50 feet tall. Wow. And so we actually ship these in from California to make sure that we can have these for the entire East Coast. My goodness, I didn't know that. So what are some special balloons that you think people will especially love this year? Can you give us a little tease? <laughs> you know, the, the cat in the hat is always a fun one because it's the tallest one. Uh, we've got ornaments. We've got, you know, larger balloons. We've got a couple of special ones we're, we're going to hold out for. But I'll tell you, we've got 13 Macy Day style balloons on over 90 entries. Oh, wow, a big parade. 90 entries, you said? Yes. Oh, that's absolutely. fantastic. Now, other than the balloons, of course, tell me some other parts of the parade that families can enjoy this year. I mean, I know a lot goes into planning this sort of event. You know, with with schools being where they are, we were able to get 13 bands as well as the balloons. And so the bands bring that, that fun, festive music. We've got one accord which folks might have seen them on America's Got Talent. They're from UNCG, and they were one of the finalists, and they're going to be performing during the parade. And another thing that we have are local Disney princesses, and they'll be meandering throughout the parade as well. And so it's, it's really a fun family event, um, or even just come out and hang out and get in the festive spirit. That makes it really special. One Accord, thank you for bringing that up. That's great. That will be fantastic for especially people who, you know, are local to the area. But I bet you have folks from surrounding areas, you know, come to the parade to see these sort of balloons in real life. You know, we do. Again, this is the only place on the East Coast outside of New York you can see balloons of this size. And with, as you just heard from the weather from Brian, the weather is going to be spectacular, but Friday night and Saturday. And so we expect over 50,000 people to attend the parade in downtown Greensboro. And so we can't wait to showcase it. And hope folks will stick around and do some shopping and maybe some eating. Good point to bring up supporting local. Tell me about um, parking or streets that will be closed. If there's anything that you want to make sure that is understood with city preps to be able to host that many people. Yeah, that's a great point. We do have a plenty of surface parking. We do have some decks. One of our main streets in Elm uh, will be shut down as well as Green and uh, Market Street. Those streets you want to avoid, we'll have it on our map, uh, downtownindecember.org, where you can click on the holiday parade, and it'll kind of point you where you can park. Uh, but we do, we look forward to seeing everybody, and I can't wait to bring the community back together to kick off this holiday spirit. Absolutely, Zach. We're excited along with you and WXII 12 familiar faces will be there. So be sure to come and say hello. Thanks so much, Zach. And like you heard him mention, the parade is happening this Saturday from noon to two along the streets of downtown Greensboro, Elm Street, like you heard him mention as well.